friends, welcome back to another Sticker Sunday video. I am super excited for this week because this video is in collaboration with Robin from Oh Hello Robin. And if you're new to our channel, hello, welcome. My name is Hope and every single month Robin and I have been doing a plan with me collaboration in our happy planner um, weekly spreads. So we've been picking some themes. We do sometimes colors or challenges. It's been super fun to kind of put ourselves outside of our comfort zones a little bit with these plan with me's. So if you want to see some of these spreads that we've done in the past, I can link to those videos down in the description. And if you want to participate in this week's challenge, we would love for you to do that. So if you'd like to join in, head over to Instagram and uh, tag us at hashtag oh hello Disney sisters, put it here on the screen for you. And you can actually post your weekly spread in the challenge as well and yeah it's just super fun Robin and I love getting to see all of your creativity in your planners so without further ado let's get into this week's challenge as we were tossing back and forth some ideas on what to do for this week's plan with me Robin had mentioned doing an idea based on the brand new Disney stickers and I was totally on board with this um, we actually just received our new happy planner Disney sticker books um, Abby actually did a haul of these um, a few weeks ago so I can link to her video she's actually the one who ordered all of these truth be told I was at work and wasn't able to order them so she took on ordering all these and I'm so glad she did because now I have this uh, pastels sticker book as well so this one is called the color block sticker book and what's cool about this one is it's actually all like bright pastel lighter spring colors versus the original Mickey and Friends books that came out were very like classic colors, um, primary colors, that kind of thing. Um, so I was really excited for the difference in colors with this book. This is the book that Robin and I are going to be using for this week's spread and it is the 477 sticker book. Again it's called the color block. So if you guys have this sticker book we would love for you to do a challenge with us this week and use that sticker book in your planner. So this is the book that we're pulling from and then the other part of the challenge is that we have to only use this sticker book and also it's a Minnie Mouse themed spread. So pastel Minnie Mouse was our theme. Um, so I thought that was a really pretty easy uh, theme to do from this book because it's basically all Mickey and Minnie. Those are the only two characters in it. So I thought this would be a really fun challenge and I'm curious to see how different my spread comes out from Robin's because oftentimes when we do these one book challenges, it's really fun because sometimes we pull the same stickers or the same like group of colors. So I'm just really excited to see what she does. So I will link Robin's video down below. I am gonna go check that one out as soon as I finish this plan with me. So this is the book we're using and I'll kind of go talk you through my idea for this spread. So this week I kind of wanted to pick like two or like a few central colors to go for. So my central colors that I chose are greens and pinks. So the green and pink, I just really like this color together. I especially like it for spring. Um, I don't know, something about green and pink. I just love them together. And then I thought it would also be fun to pull in a few like rainbow stickers or things with multiple colors in it. And then I also found this really fun confetti. So I thought I'd use this Disney uh, confetti as well. So kind of an interesting theme. I'm not really sure how this spread's going to come out. So I did also pull a few washies as well and I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all of these or some of these um, but these two actually came from Michael's. These were both part of um, Happy Planners collaboration with Michael's and then I honestly don't remember where this one came from. I think it was also Michael's but <laughs> so those are the three that I may or may not be using in this week's spread. So without further ado let's just get into it and start planning. I'm going to lay all my sticker sheets out on the sides here so that I make sure I don't forget any. 
So for this week's spread, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to end up using the washi or not. So I'm actually going to start with the spread and then I can go in and add the washi um, afterwards. Sometimes I start with the washi if I know for sure that I'm going to use it, but this one I kind of just want to see how the spread comes out and then we'll go from there. One question that I get sometimes with these plan with me's is why I put the boxes down outside of the lines and to be honest with you I'm not sure how that started um I know that like originally I was a line user I like totally used the lines put the stickers within them and as I've like kind of evolved my planning style I've just kind of learned that I like a little bit of variety and I just I like making clusters with my boxes and so I feel like I like the cluster look better than the everything being in straight lines. And so for me, I feel like a cluster looks more complete um, when it's like askew than trying to make things perfectly match up with the lines, if that makes sense. I feel like when I make everything line up with the lines, it kind of looks like a checkerboard to me and I do not like that. Like my brain just does not work in a straight line apparently. So. That's kind of how that started. Um, but yeah, interesting. Let me know in a comment down below. Do you guys plan on the lines with the lines or do you kind of go outside of the lines like I do? I'm always curious to hear those answers. Okay, so I have this like confetti washi that I showed you guys earlier and I don't really like the look of it on the bottom. I feel like it's just a little bit too messy to go over the full page. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a little background of washi for our um, weekend banner. So I'll show you how I do that. If the camera angle keeps changing, it's because I keep forgetting tools that are inside my drawer. And so I have to keep moving the tripod in order to get to the drawer. It's a struggle. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna make the background for the banner. So I'm gonna take two strips of our confetti washi and kind of line them up, but I wanna make sure that they're not in the exact same place because I want it to look like random confetti, not like you know, this perfectly lined up symmetrical line. Then we can lay our weekend banner right on top of it. And then use it as one really big sticker. All right guys, so that is it for my spread for this week. This was super fun. I like kind of stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing these challenges. A huge thank you to Robin for coming up with this idea and I cannot wait to see what she did with her spread. So be sure to hop on over and check hers out right now. And if you guys wanna participate in this week's challenge as well, be sure to tag us at hashtag ohellodisneysisters over on Instagram so that we can see your beautiful spreads. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future planner content from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!